Hey everybody, I wanted to make a quick video on what does it mean on our checklist um, when it talks about inserting links. Um, when you go to your checklist, it says you need three to five links uh, to other websites related to your information. Um, and some people are doing it, some people are not, and some people are doing it different ways. Um, but also look to on your checklist, it also says that everybody's room has to have three to five links. So on your home page and on your invention page, you want to have three to five links. Uh, three is perfectly fine. Um, and there are two ways to do this, okay? The first thing to do is if you're on your home page, you can do it by either linking it to other pages on your website, or you can do it by linking it to content information that like maybe a great website or a great source that you use that may help others. Now, why is Governor School asking you to do this? Because on um, academic websites and in on credible newspapers, like if you read the New York Times and Wall Street Journal, you'll see things like um, little links, like as you're reading, maybe a word's highlighted or underlined and you can click that for further information uh, for the reader, all right? Um, so we wanna show you how to do that. How do you do it? All right, let's, um, let's show, let me show you with Ancient India. So shout out to Ancient India for you guys letting me use your website. Um, so you highlight what you want linked and then you click this button right here, insert link. Um, and you can either, you see right here, if um, you wanted to link it to another page, you could, uh, but that wouldn't make sense right here. Um, so what you would do is like, okay, what am I going to, what do I want uh, readers to know about? And maybe you want them to know that great resource from the Khan Academy on ancient India. Um, and so you could link that. So you go ahead, open up a new tab, search, uh, of course, the internet's slow. <laughs> Search for what you want linked. Sorry about that, right? And this is an article that you used or information that you used. You copy the URL, right? So the URL is this right here, the www. Uh, and then you come to back to your website where you have highlighted and you paste it um, there and you hit apply. Now, what's that going to do for your viewers? Now you've inserted the one link. So now if I was a viewer and I clicked here, it would take me to the Khan Academy, right? So if people want to learn more information, they can. Um, that also helps prove your credibility of your, of your website too. Like here's further information. Um, the last thing I want to show you how to do is on your website, you will want uh, to make every single document, uh, including your timeline um, or including your papers as public to the world. So how do you do that? So I'll show you by using this checklist. So you go to the document or to whatever source you're using and you would click here, the word share, right? And you would get where it says, um, get, get link. Um, and you would change it right here to anyone with the link can view. Yours probably says like BRBGS, right? So you would change that to anyone with the link as a viewer and you would hit done. Please do that with your paper, your timeline or any other information. Last thing, please don't forget to hit the word publish. You saw that I added the link in there. Um, and if I don't hit publish, if I people won't see your work. So please, please, please make sure that you hit uh, publish every single time. Uh, thank you, everybody. I hope this helps you. Bye.